What's up guys and welcome back to another coding video. In today's video, we're going to be learning about how to send SMS messages in C Sharp. I'm sure you've always wondered in the back of your head how phones are able to send messages over the air, you know, through the internet and get right to your phone without any trouble at all. Well, look no further than this video because today we're going to learn how to do that in C Sharp. So with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, guys, now that I'm on my desktop, let's go ahead and get the first thing out of the way, which is signing up for a Twilio account. So to in order to do that, let's go ahead and open up my browser here and type in Twilio and go right here. And you'll notice that, you know, you might wonder what this site is for. And, and this is going to give us a free account and free access to code. Um, in order to send SMS messages because obviously it isn't free. If it was free, then everyone would be doing it. But don't get alarmed, don't exit the video because it is free for, you know, you get a trial version of like a first, like five or 10 messages you get to send for free. And that's all we really need to test our coding project and have a little bit of fun here. If you wish to buy some more, then go ahead and upgrade the uh, from the trial plan to the paid version, which I believe is only a few dollars. So. Um, that's up to you to do that, but we're going to be using the free version. So let's go ahead and sign up for that. And you can sign up by going ahead and literally clicking sign up and start building. And go ahead and fill this out and I'll be right back when I'm done with that. Now here we are in the Twilio dashboard and you're going to notice a few things. So you're going to see, you know, some project info and an account SID and auth token. And this is because we are going to be building this SMS app, so we're gonna need this stuff in order to do that. Um, now, the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and go down here to where it says get a trial phone number. And you need to click that and get a free trial number, which is right here. Um, and make sure you do that because you're gonna need this in order to send um, these messages. So this is gonna be what you're sending it from to you know your own phone or your friend's phone or whatever, whatever you're gonna to do to test this. All right, guys, now that we have all of our Twilio information, like our account SID, our auth token, and our free phone number, um, keep this page up, and let's hop over to the fun part, which is Visual Studio. So um, let's go ahead and open up that. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I actually already have it open. Um, and create a local project. And this one is actually just going to be a uh, console app. It's it's. I know a lot of times I, use, I do the forms app, and if you'd like me to do one where it actually has an interface, go ahead and let me know. But um, we're just this is super simple, so we're just going to do a console app. So do console app with the .NET Core framework, and then um, obviously click next, name it whatever you want. I'm going to um, name mine um, SMS Messenger. Click create. All right, guys, now that we're actually inside of our C-sharp project here, um, one of the first things you need to do is install the um, Twilio NuGet package or in, uh, Twilio tools, whatever you want to call it. And in order to do that, let's go ahead and go up to tools and click NuGet packet manager and then the packet manager console. Now, I've, I've already installed this, but um, I'm going to do it again just to show you guys how to do this. Um, your output's going to look a little bit different than mine because I have it installed already but you're literally gonna paste the command um, install dash package and then space Twilio, um, just like I have it here. And go ahead and click enter. And that's going to um, you know reach out to Twilio and download the packages. Um, however, um, obviously I have it installed already, so it is done. So once that's done, go back to your browser and you'll notice we're still on our Twilio account. Now underneath your information, you'll notice that it says send your first SMS and some other stuff. Um, and they were nice enough to give us free code that we can use and we don't even have to figure this out on our own We just use exactly what they gave us, which is awesome So um, go ahead and click send your first SMS. And it's going to open up a, another page So then it's going to kind of have like a form to fill out. So um, choose your language for this video We're using C sharp. So we're going to use the .NET framework um, But if you want to use another language go ahead and feel free and you know click one of these other options um, you'll notice that next to the view on GitHub button is a uh, read documentation button. So go ahead and click read documentation. And this is kind of like a whole walkthrough on how to do this. Um, now we've already got an account and we've already installed this uh, package here. So let's go ahead and just go all the way to this part. And what we need here is we need this code. So this entire thing, so literally just copy this. 
and go ahead and paste it. So now that we have that pasted into our C Sharp um, app here, um, what you need to do next is see where it says Twilio account SID and Twilio auth token. You need to replace these with what your account SID and auth token are. So go back to your web browser and go back to where your account is. Go ahead and click on account SID or SID and copy that. And then just remove what we have here and paste that like that. And then go back to your auth token, copy that as well and go ahead and paste that right here. So now that we have both of those, and one thing that I will mention, I know you guys are new at programming, but um, hard coding credentials is always a really bad idea. Um, most programmers like to store it in another file and like import it. That's uh, one of the safe ways to do it, or you know, encode it, or you know, encrypt it, whatever it is. But um, I was just mentioning that hard coding credentials is just not smart and not a good practice. But now that we have that out of the way, um, let's go down here and we want to create the body of our message. So instead of this, let's just go ahead and type in like test um, or test message from the code haven, which is me. And then um, the from, you're gonna need your Twilio phone number. So go back to your browser and go ahead and click copy on your phone number and switch back to here and just go ahead and paste that in here and make sure to remove the extra plus in case it adds another one and then um, the two you can um, add whatever you want here you can add, test with a friend's phone number your own whoever you want but I'm gonna go ahead and test with my own phone Now make sure that you have the country code of what you're testing right. I live in the U.S., so of course my country code is going to be plus one. But um, other countries, you know, have a variety of different country codes that they use um, in front of the phone number. So just make sure that you have that correct. All right, guys, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and save our project. And then go ahead and click Run. And you'll notice right away that it's complaining that the username cannot be null. And you might freak out and be like, well, wait a minute, I just swapped out all the information correctly. Why is this? And the reason is you actually have to go ahead and set real environment variables. So open the start menu and type in um, environment variables. You know, it's going to open up a system and environment variables section. So go ahead and open that. And then it's going to open up this little window here and then click at the bottom where it says environment variables. And then we're going to go ahead and create some new ones here. So click new. Now, the variable value is going to be your account SID, and the other value is going to be your account token. Now, you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call my first one um, Twilio SID, and then call the other, or put the value in there. And then once that's in there, click OK, and then create another one that's uh, called Twilio Auth, and then go ahead and paste your auth token in there and then click OK. So now that you have both of those, click OK to save them and click OK again. And then we're going to stop running the program and save it and then just restart Visual Studio. Now that we've started up again, go ahead and open up your project. And you might wonder why we would have to restart Visual Studio. And the reason that is, is because you need to resync all the environment variables and uh, make sure that Visual Studio like acknowledges that there is a change. So. Uh, Go ahead and do that. And then before we run it, we're going to go where it says get environment variable for the account token and auth token. And then instead of this string here, we're going to swap it out for the names of what we just created. So like for the SID, we're going to uh, type in Twilio SID. And if you forget the name, go ahead and just type in environment variables again and go back and look at it. So ours is called Twilio SID and Twilio Auth. So we have that and we have Twilio Auth. So go ahead and click Save. And then let's go ahead and try to run it. So you guys noticed that now that those environment variables worked, um, it went ahead and ran it. And as you see here, we have right here the uh, 
message and it came in which is awesome and with that being said we are done with this video you guys now have a uh, cool little code project that you can show your friends and, and mess around with them maybe even too but thank you guys for watching um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and comment down below for any thoughts or suggestions for the next video please subscribe to the channel for more content like this and with that being said thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one